Hurricane Helene has left a path of damage from high winds, heavy rain, and deadly storm surge with dozens of deaths reported so far. While the hurricane made landfall in Florida, the state of Georgia was also hit hard, and now two volunteers from Evansville are on their way there to help out. Eyewitness News' Cody Bailey has more. As the impacts from the remnants of Hurricane Helene are now being felt here at home, two local volunteers from the American Red Cross are on their way down south to help those who have been impacted by the storm. Answering the call, that's what longtime Red Cross volunteers John Fitzgerald and Jim Pemberton are doing. Hours after Hurricane Helene made landfall, the two were busy loading up the emergency response vehicle, preparing to help however they can. The volunteers are driving to Macon, Georgia, where they will await specific instructions on who to help and where. The plan is to mainly provide meals to those in the area who have been impacted or displaced by Helene. The two join a dozen other Red Cross volunteers from the Hoosier State who are deployed in the hurricane's path. Both Fitzgerald and Pemberton have been deployed countless times and have seen their fair share of damage over the years. They both admit the damage is sometimes tough to see, but the gratitude from the community makes it worthwhile. To go walk down the streets and see homes with the windows and doors open and no furniture, nothing, and they're just done. They're it, it's really sad to see. I think it's mostly the uh, the people that you meet and how much they appreciate you being there. And uh, they know you've left a comfortable house of your own accord and, and driven ha halfway across the country to help them out. And they, they really appreciate that. The two volunteers will be in Macon, Georgia for at least two weeks. That deployment could be extended depending on the need. Reporting in Evansville, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News.